I'm Anika, this is my studio. Space is my little baby. We are a donation-based studio, so all of the practices at Space are pay-what-you-can practices. And we have a huge variety of practices, including the swings, which are super cool. The big focus of Space, like the thing that we focus on the most, is our community aspect. Um, so we have tons of members of just all across the board. You know, we don't have like a really limited demographic. We have people, older people, younger people. We have classes for teens. We have family classes and we have different styles of yoga. So it's kind of unique to the area in that there's such a huge variety of practices. So space is one of a one of a kind studio. You walk in here and you feel welcome. The space itself is beautiful and there's no judgment. You walk in and no matter who's teaching or what style of class it is, it's always very welcoming. A yoga studio that practices from the heart has a completely different feel to it than more of a gym type yoga. And that's what I like about space is that, you know, it's like, like the website says, come as you are. This is how we spend our time and how we bond together as mother and daughter, so. It's been like life changing for both of us. This is something that we do together every Saturday. Space is sort of my first exposure to yoga ever. Um, and I've tried other avenues, like I've tried going to other places and it's really, it's quite different here. You know, cause this place, it's very small. It's an intimate space. It's very calming. There's not, you know, not many distractions, things trying to sell you things on the wall, getting your attention. Space doesn't push on you what you, you know, what they think yoga should look like, how you should dress, how you should act. Uh, they give back a lot to the community and uh, I didn't find that through any other place here after I got serious about yoga that there was donations and things to help the community. So. One of the things that we started doing when we first opened the studio was commu these community practices, which we run every Saturday at 10 a.m. and they're donation-based practices where we donate 100% of the proceeds to charity, local charities that we work with. And so that kind of, that's kind of was the seed of the community aspect of it. That was kind of where it all started, you know, where it kind of grew from there into what it is now, which is that all of the practices are open for people to pay whatever they want, practices and memberships. And you know, there has been situations where people will come in and, I'll, and they'll say, what are, you know, what, is, what do I pay? And I say, just whatever. And it's like, oh, I don't know what that means. It, Cause it's so different, you know, it's such a radical way um, to run a business that it's almost like calling into question everything you know about humans and civilization. You know what I mean? Like, what am I supposed to do when I have the freedom to do whatever I want, you know? And, um, but I love that concept because I feel, that's what I want people to feel when they practice and that's what I want them to feel when they pay. You know, that it's, they're free. You know, they're free. No one ever leaves feeling like, I don't know why I did that. You know, which sometimes happens in a yoga studio. You leave like, oh my gosh, I felt so out of place and I felt, you know, and that just doesn't happen here. You know, people come in and just being in the room with other people, who are so, you know, such stable members of this community, it just sort of draws them in. I really like how Monica has made it a community um, studio all about it's open for everyone, that anybody can do it. So that's why I love space. <laughs>